What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. So in today's video we're doing yet another like top 10 listing video and in this video as you can see we're on the shipyard. So we're going to be talking about the best ships in One Piece Treasure Cruise. Now the thing about it is is with ships, a lot of them are very specific to a certain color or a certain class. So, you know, obviously some ships might be better than, better than others depending on the situation that you're in. But in this video, I want to talk about just in general, the best ships in the game, the ones that I use the most, and I want to recommend them to you guys so you know which ones to pick up. And of course, we'll talk about how to get each of these ships uh, throughout this video. So I guess without further ado, let's get into it. Well, I, sh I should probably also mention that we're not talking about event ships either because the event ships during their event period is always like the best ship to run but okay putting that aside though let's go ahead and get into it so the first ship that i'm going to suggest for my number 10 position is going to be a ship that you actually cannot get anymore and that is true you cannot get this ship anymore it was previously available in older version of, of treasure cruise where if you completed certain missions on story mode you would get this ship from the baratier uh, in the story mode missions so this ship is really good so it is a uh, it's actually don krieg ship and it says that it boosts your hp by 1.5 and you deal 5,000 tightless damage to all enemies at the end of the turn now of course it doesn't give you any attack boost which is typically not a good thing for a ship you want to make sure you have an attack boost in some fashion um, but the main reason why this is good is because if there is enemies with resilience you can use this ship to just bypass it which means you don't need to bring anyone on your crew to bring like poison resilience remover end of turn damage you don't need that on your crew you just run this ship and you can fly through content i don't really use this ship that often but i definitely wanted to put it on my list because there have been a lot of situations where this ship is actually really useful it's really nice to have this ship but it's definitely not one you're going to be using that often um, and some people might think this is weird to put this on my top 10 list but you know i'm just putting it out there that i'm not really going to be putting too many specific class and color ships unless if they're really really powerful because like a lot of the ones from the forest yeah they're really nice to have but i wanted to talk about this one specifically because it is a pretty decent ship overall um so the next one we're going to move on to number nine is going to be all the way near the end and this is going to be the Flying Dutchman. So the Flying Dutchman was available in the Rayleigh's Bazaar. You have to spend 5,000 Rayleigh points, I think it was, or 7,500 Rayleigh points, something like that, to get this ship. Now, when this ship came out, it was so goddamn good. So it boosts your cruise attack by 1.5 times, which is quite typical, and also boosts your pirate EXP by 1.5 times. That was the main reason why this ship is so good. The fact that you can get just free additional EXP whenever you run this ship against content is so good. Of course, there's going to be another ship on this list that is just a better version of this ship, but I definitely wanted to put it on the list because you want to make sure you have it if you don't have the other ship. Um, also should note that it does have a special ability ship which uh, does reduce the defense of all enemies by 25%. This is actually quite key because some specific teams actually use this ship just for the special ability in order to proc defense down conditional boost which is really nice to have. Um, I remember a lot of people would go ahead back in the day and use the Dex Rare Recruit Cavendish which is a defense down 1.75 conditional booster. He doesn't self proc but if you run this ship you're able to proc that conditional boost which is very nice to have so this is my number nine ship the next ship that I have on my list, my number 8 position, is the Coated Thousand Sunny. This ship definitely saved a lot of people back in the day. It's a regular 1.5 times attack boosting ship. Nothing special there, but its special ability is why it is so useful. So it allows you to halve damage taken for one turn. Uh, this is really nice in case if enemy ha do have like death damage hits. Of course, halving the damage won't help you a lot of the time, but it can be quite useful to have. So being able to just halve all damage taken for one turn was the main reason why some teams back in the day were able to clear content and if you don't have this ship well you're able to get it from story mode which is quite good and of course you do have to spend cola to max it out but it is definitely worth it um, to have that just added effect to reduce damage is always really nice so now moving on to number seven it's going to be the merry go now the reason why i have the merry go here is because it recently got an update on global if you guys didn't see the original merry go got a brand new update and so it has a new effect where it is still going to go ahead and boost your captain's hp by 300 which doesn't matter uh 1.5 times regular attack and then has an added effect makes it easier to land your perfect strikes so i think this is a pretty useful ship to have especially if you're utilizing characters that have to make sure they hit their perfects uh characters like chain multiplier boosters like
like V2 Mihawk, V2 Sanji, uh, V2 Akainu is really good. You want to make sure you're hitting your perfects with him. And there's only this ship that he can use and also the uh, Capone ship. Those two ships are the only two ships that Akainu can use that actually make it easier to hit your perfects. And uh, if you want to do that, then that is a really good opportunity to, to just go ahead and do that. So if you are running a captain that requires hitting perfects and you aren't too confident, then this is definitely a really good ship to have. And of course, it's the first ship that everyone gets access to pretty much. Um, so you should have it at max level already, which is good. So this ship is very, very nice to have for sure. So the next ship on my list is the number six. And quite fittingly, the German double six is going to be this ship here now this ship is very very strong however the amount of teams that are able to utilize this ship is quite minimal so in order to really understand what it does so basically what it does is is you need to have one of every color on your team so strength dex quick sign int you need to have one of all of those colors on your crew to make sure that this ship is active but when it is active you get special cooldown reduction by two turns at the start of the quest which is phenomenal two turn cooldown reduction is crazy and it will also boost your crew's attack by 1.55 and will also boost your crew's HP by 1.25 and then has an even added effect where you get a further 1.1 times boost if your characters have a recovery or a tandem orb on themselves. So this ship is like crazy in terms of the effects that you can get for your team. The cooldown reduction is probably one of the best parts about it. But again, just a ship that's able to get that type of multiplier, which is kind of absurd. I actually forgot what the multiplier is. Let me pull up my calculator real quick. 1.55 multiplied by 1.1, 1.7 times ship. Uh, yeah, that's that is crazy. A multiplier of 1.7 for a ship is crazy, dude. Um, so yeah, look, the only main teams that are able to really abuse this are characters like the V2 German Batch of obviously the original German batch obviously um, v2 big mom can use this pretty well as well uh, if you have legend Magellan and you opt to use him as a captain you can use that as well but like you can just run other teams and then try and run one of every color in order to abuse the ship um, like legend carrot I know I've used legend carrot teams with this ship as well making sure I have one of every color to make sure I get additional cooldowns so carrot teams are even faster so you can definitely make your teams work um, but it's just really annoying to do so uh, even like sober mask that arrived on JP recently uh, you could definitely go ahead and run him as your captain and if you use your team correctly with his special ability you get a full board of tandem orbs which will give you the buffed ability with this ship so you can kind of do some really cool things with it but again it, it's just really difficult to build teams around this ship so now moving on to the fifth position now quite fittingly these ships are actually right next to each other so we have the blackbird ship and we have the blackbeard ship um these ships are very very similar to each other with some very minute differences so in terms of the blackbeard ship you get 1.25 times hp and 1.5 five times attack and one turn of cooldown reduction at the start of the fight but the condition for this ship is you need to have a uh, fighter shooter slasher striker on your team so you need to have the same conditions as the original blackbeard captain ability and then for the blackbird ship it is 1.2 times hp yeah so it's uh, a little bit less hp um but for this particular ship um, you need a strength dex and quick character but they both provide the same attack boost and they both provide a one turn cooldown reduction so they're essentially the same ship but there are just very minute differences in terms of what you have to fulfill in order to activate the ship um, and both of these ships are really good uh, honestly you can use both of these ships interchangeably with a lot of different teams even with blackbeard teams legend lucy when he was big back in the day you could literally swap and change either of these ships around uh, as long as you fulfill those those class conditions uh, and still to this day they going to be seeing more and more usage of course when more characters come out namely v3 kuzan who was recently just announced on a one piece treasure cruise korea uh you could definitely use this ship that came out with that new kuzan or you could use this ship with the new kuzan if you fulfill the classes of course um so both of these ships i think are well deservingly of the number five position because they just provide lots of really good boosts to your team additional cooldown is always really nice to have um, and now let's move on to number four so number four on my list is going to be the Moby Dick, which is one of the OG ships in the game. Uh, I remember back in the day trying really hard to beat that that uh, Whitebeard Forest in order to get this ship. I originally beat it with a Gear 3 team, which was... That was horrendous. But either way, uh, this ship is one of the most useful ships in the game, allowing you to beat a lot of other content, uh, especially if you have some of the more powerful legends in the game that give you a pretty sizable HP boost on top of this ship's HP boost. 
it's crazy how good this ship is. Now, the only downside to the ship is you start off the, the, the run with half of your max HP, which is not really a big deal, especially if you are running very specific characters. Even someone like V2 Katakuri, who's able to heal back a lot of his HP, um, you can definitely utilize characters like that in order to get buffed HP. Just in, It's just a flat 1.5 attack and 1.4 times HP on a ship. Like, this ship is so goddamn good. Even on teams where you need to be at lower HP in order to get a better attack multiplier this is one of the best ships to run um, so this ship has helped me so much just going through so much content uh, there's literally not much else to say it's just one of the most useful ships to have for clearing more difficult content because that additional HP pool is very very useful the number three position is going to be Megalo now Megalo honestly I've kind of been underrating this ship for a while this ship is crazy crazy good um, so in order to get this ship again, it's, an, it's another unlockable ship like the German double six ship uh, You have to spend 30 gems, which is quite steep for a ship, but you do get additional rewards with that But this ship man is is really good And of course you can't use it with every team You do have to run very specific captains in order to get this ship to activate but man this ship is good So let's talk about it. So your captain needs to be either Psy or Int now There are plenty of different teams that could you know, utilize this ship. White Bitter Mako, Shirahoshi Man Sherry, Halloween Ace, which will be coming later on down the line, uh, Legend Capone, uh, V2 Akainu, any sort of team that utilizes a Psy or an Int. Oh, V2 Katakuri. I used this with V2 Katakuri recently as well. So there's so many different teams that you can utilize this ship with. So if you do have an Asai or Int Captain, you get 1.25 times health. You also get 1.5 times attack. 200 additional recovery is added to your captain and it reduces damage taken by 10% just a free 10% damage reduction effect on a ship is phenomenal and it does have an added special eight turn cooldown mind you locks your orbs for one turn so again just uh, all of these effects are really nice to have the fact that you can lock your orbs like say you get a bunch of recovery orbs and you want to save that for following turns in case if you're going to be taking a lot of damage you can do that or if you're about to burst and you have some matching slots and you want to keep them you can lock your orbs you can do that there's lots of different situations where locking orbs is going to be very nice to have and the fact that you can also get the tempest and damage reduction you get a little bit of recovery out of it as well like there's lots of cool things happening here and i love this ship so much and that's why i would probably put it in uh, in this position right here my number two ship in the game goes to zunisha again another unlockable ship <sighs> what can i say about zunisha this ship is just crazy i remember when this first got revealed everyone was wondering like is, is that translation wrong that can't be right that's like literally too good for a ship uh, i remember when this came out man everyone was losing their minds so this ship is solely focused on powerhouse and cerebral characters. So if you're running a powerhouse or a cerebral team, this is the best ship to run, hands down, bar none. So what it does is it gives those classes 1.55 times attack and 1.25 times health. Also makes recovery and tandem orbs beneficial to those classes. So just free, free, two orbs beneficial, man, is nuts. And also will go ahead and make perfects easier to hit. Well, it says much easier to hit. And when it says much easier, it, it truly means that. Like the 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 skill it takes to, to hit perfects with Zunisha is so minimal. And the thing is, is if you use Zunisha over and over and over and over again, it, it gets to a point where when you don't use Zunisha, you literally struggle to hit your perfects because you get so used to the way you hit perfects with the Zunisha ship. So like honestly if you're running a cerebral powerhouse team you have to run this ship there, ha there have been other circumstances when you're running a powerhouse team sometimes you want the extra recovery and you run the rocket man ship but in like 99 percent of cases you're going to be using the zunisha ship it's just one of the most useful ships in the entire game and if you don't have it i highly suggest to go ahead and purchase it in the unlockable quest whenever it's available and of course, my number one position, it goes without saying that the Ho ship, in my personal opinion, is the most useful ship in the entire game. So if you guys don't know what this ship does, or even how to get it, again, it is another unlockable ship. And surprise, surprise, the ones you have to spend your rainbow gems on are the best ships in the game, but it is what it is. Um, so the Ho ship will reduce your special charge time by one turn at the start of the fight. You also get 1.5 times attack, which is good, and also 1.75 times EXP. So as we mentioned before, with the flying 
Flying Dutchman being an EXP ship. This is just a straight upgrade to that ship. Now, of course, the Dutchman can do things that this ship can't do. The fact that it's a defense down special ability. This ship does have a special ability as well, which provides a 3,500 HP heal for the following two turns. There have been circumstances where this ship having the healing mechanic has saved me a lot of the time. So there's so many good things going on here. And the fact that it is a rainbow 1.5 attack with additional cooldown, Literally, if you can run the host ship to clear the content, like if you don't need the extra damage reduction, if you don't need the extra HP, then you're running the ship. You are running the ship to get that extra pirate EXP. That's literally like it is. It is what it is. Like that's that's the way that it works. That's the law of the land. You have to use this ship if you are clearing content. Um, and if you're using someone like Legend Carrot, which predominantly relies on speed clearing, this again is one of the most useful ships to have. Even on the treasure map smoker that's active right now on global, the thing is, is the three times EXP ship is currently active. And again, that is one of the best ships to run right now. But one of my special cooldowns on one of my teams will not be ready by the time I need it on the boss stage if I just don't stall. So in order to get around that, I'm going to use the host ship to make sure that it is ready so I don't have to stall. So literally, I'm putting the three times EXP ship aside to make sure I can clear content without having to stall. And that's very, very important for clearing content faster. And uh, for that reason alone, I think this is 100% the ship you have to purchase. If there is one unlockable ship you have to buy, it's definitely this one. And it is definitely one that I would suggest you guys pick up. But there we go. That's the rundown of all of my favorite ships in the game. The one that I would suggest to you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. And if you guys did, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.